Welcome to this module of Professor Messer's free Microsoft 7680 certification training course on deploying Windows 7. I'm James Messer, and in this module, we're going to look at the requirements from our Configuring Microsoft Windows 7 certification exam. We're now in the second section on deploying Windows 7. It's 13% of the certification, where we need to understand how to capture a system image. And the focus of this particular module is on the requirement of preparing the system for capture. Before we go into other modules that we're going to have on going through the exact process for capturing and imaging our reference systems, I thought it would be useful to take a step back and look at the tools that we're going to use before we begin the imaging process. When we talk about doing an image of a computer, we're really talking about making a carbon copy of exactly what's on the hard drive of one computer so that we can then take that exact image and put it on another system. Imagine if you had to install Windows 7 from scratch on every single computer, especially if you're in a very large organization. It could take a lot of time. So the idea is to create what we call a reference image, an image that is one that would be good to put on many, many different systems and take a snapshot of it and then deploy it automatically to hundreds or thousands of others' computers out there in the field, even automatically, very hands off. We can do all of that with these Windows 7 deployment tools. So the first idea is to build this reference computer. This is the reason whenever you go into large IT organizations, they have standards set up on what applications can run on a computer. And they've tested certain drivers because they've built a system that they know is going to run on a lot of different computers in their environment. Then we actually create the image. We take a snapshot of what's on that computer using a program called ImageX. So we're going to, to show you how to do that in a future video. But that's what we would use to take that image of a computer and save it off to a disk somewhere that we can then use later. Obviously, the last step is to then take that image and distribute it out to many, many different computers. This is something, if you are administering computers in almost any size environment, that you're going to do over and over and over again. Because you'll run into situations where a computer breaks and you'll need to create a brand new computer from scratch. This only takes a few minutes to go from a completely empty and blank hard drive to running the Windows 7 operating system. So as you can see, there are a lot of advantages to understanding exactly how to do an image. And if you can do it very, very well, you can save yourself hours and hours and hours of time. A toolkit that we're going to reference a lot in this series is something called the Windows Automated Installation Kit. You'll almost always hear this referred to as the Windows AIK for short. Inside the installation kit are a number of very, very useful utilities. Let me show you what some of these are. One is called the Windows SIM, or the System Image Manager. This gives us a central place where we can collect all of the images that we're going to have. And you will have more than one image, I assure you. You'll be able to put them all in one place and be able to manage them in this central facility. Another really, really useful utility that we're going to use is one called ImageX. This is an application that takes your existing reference computer and allows you to build one big Windows image file from that reference computer. We can also change and modify a few things inside of that image file using ImageX. Really, really useful utility. We're also going to make a lot of use of DISM, the Deployment Image Servicing and Management Tool. This DISM is a command line tool that allows us to make changes to what we have in that Windows image even after it's already been created. So we don't have to rebuild that reference image every time we want to make a change. We can use DISM to change drivers, add other drivers to it. We can add new applications to it. We can put things on the hard drive of that Windows, Windows image file. Really, really useful utility. There are a number of tools on the Windows AIK that we've already used. Here's some of them. The Windows PE is something that we use. That's our pre-installation environment. It's our boot disk that allowed us to get in and configure and set up some of our systems. That's included with the Windows AIK. We also used, to create that Windows PE boot disk, we used OSCDIMG, which takes a lot of files on our system and creates an ISO for us, a boot ISO that we could then burn a CD or a DVD or take that ISO and put it on one of our memory sticks so we could boot our system up. And in a previous video, we also used the user state migration tool, which we used to take files from an older operating system and migrate them into Windows 7. 
The Windows AIK is absolutely free to download. All you need to do is go to Google or to Microsoft's website and search for the WAIK for Windows 7. And it's important to put the for Windows 7 on the end because there are other versions of the WAIK. The Windows AIK really will install, though, on any operating system. You can install it, of course, on Windows 7. You can also install it on Windows Server 2008 R2 or Windows Server 2008. It also installs on Windows Vista and Windows Server 2003 as long as you have Service Pack 2 installed. What you're actually downloading is the ISO file. And once you download it, you can burn it to a CD or DVD with a third-party program like IMG Burn or CD Burner XP or Infra Recorder and use those to burn it on your Windows system. Here's my Windows Server 2008 system. I've downloaded the Windows AIK. I burned it to a DVD. I ran the setup program from that DVD, and it has created for me in my Start menu under All Programs, I have the Microsoft Windows AIK. And this is not any one program as we saw. It really is a list of a lot of other programs. One that we're going to use a lot is simply the Development Tools Command Prompt. And this is the command prompt that gives you access to all of those command line tools. You can even see that when you start it up, it includes the path so that you can find DISM, OS, CD, IMG, and ImageX right from this command prompt. So no matter, no matter where you go inside of this command prompt, you will always have access to those utilities. That's kind of nice to have that built into what we're doing. Also, you will find this will be a lot of use for you for doing studying is a documentation folder. So if you wanted to go step by step through how to install Windows and deploy it. And it gives you a, a breakdown of a step-by-step -step guide to basic deployment for IT professionals. This is exactly what we're going to do in our system. We're going to go through this entire function of building answer files, setting up the Windows PE disk, how to modify different capabilities. All of this is nicely documented for you. So if you'd like another reference tool to use to help with some of the studies that you're doing with the certification program, that's something that's just built into the AIK. Also in the AIK, you'll be able to make use of this. We have inside of here the Windows System Image Manager. We're going to go into the Windows Sim to be able to build some answer files. We're going to go out and be able to take advantage of all of the different images that we've created. This is a really nice front end so that you can do a lot of things in this graphical mode. It will validate our answer files for us, a really, really useful utility. That should give you the framework you need now for deploying Windows 7 and some of the tools that we're going to need over the next number of videos. Let's see what you can remember about deploying Windows 7 and setting these things up. Our first question is, which utility allows you to create and modify Windows images? Well, if you recall, that's something we were able to run at the command line, and it's Image X. It actually builds our Windows images for us and allows us to make a few changes to those images as well. What utility can you use to update an image with new drivers and patches? We're going to dedicate a lot of time to using this at the command line. It's extremely functional, and it's called DISM, the Deployment Image Servicing and Management Tool. And our last question, which utility builds a ready-to-use ISO file? Well, that's something that would be really useful to have, especially if we were building a Windows PE ISO file, and we would use OSCD IMG to be able to do that. Well, that covers the requirements we needed for the introduction here of deploying this Windows 7 environment. We've now got everything in place that we need. Now all we have to do is start making use of those. If you'd like to follow our videos where we start making use of some of those things, and of course look at all of our Windows 7 certification videos, you can go to our message boards, you can send me a message, and much more. Visit our website at ProfessorMesser.com.